Welcome back to the Knowledge Academy's YouTube channel. We're diving deep into SQL operators, which are essential tools for performing various operations and making your SQL queries more powerful and precise. We will learn about each of the operators one by one, and you will be getting some questions which are commonly asked during interview in this video. So, let's get started. Let's first understand what SQL operators are. SQL operators are essential tools in any SQL user's toolkit. They are symbols or keywords used to perform operations on data within your SQL queries. Operators allow you to manipulate and compare data, helping you to extract meaningful information from your databases. In SQL, operators can be categorized into several types, each serving a different purpose. There are several types of operators in SQL, and today we'll focus on five main categories. Arithmetic operators. They are used for performing mathematical calculations. Statistical operators. They are used to combine multiple conditions in a query. Comparison operators. They are used to compare two values. Set operators. They are used to combine results from two or more queries. Other operators. It includes between like and in for specific types of filtering. Let's dive into each type and see how they work with some practical examples. First up. Let's talk about arithmetic operators. These operators are used to perform mathematical calculations on your data. The basic arithmetic operators in SQL. Addition, it adds two values. Subtraction, it subtracts one value from another. Multiplication, it multiplies two values. Division, it divides one value by another. Modulus, this returns the remainder of a division operation. Let's see an example. Here we will use movie table. Link to this dataset is given the description below. We will quickly import this data to the MySQL workbench. To know more clearly how to import datasets in the workbench, you can refer to our previous videos in this playlist. First, let's see what data this table holds. Just write a simple query of select asterisk from movies Execute this code, and you can see here all the data and the column names. Now let's proceed with an example to understand the arithmetic operators. Since in the movies table we have the duration of movies in minutes, now suppose you want to have the duration in hours. For that we can write the query as Select title, and then write length in minutes divided by 60, and name it as length in hours, to convert it in hours. Then write from movies hyphen, which is the table name, now, execute it. You can see now we have the duration of movies in hours. In this query, we divide length in minutes by 60.0 to convert the duration from minutes to hours and display it as length in hours. Like this, you can use other arithmetic operations according to the need. Now a question for you. Which SQL operator would you use to calculate the remainder of a division operation? Addition. Subtraction. Multiplication. Division. Write your answers in the comment section below. Now, let's talk about comparison operators. These operators are used to compare two values. The basic comparison operators in SQL are equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Comparison operators are typically used in the WHERE clause to filter data based on specific conditions. To understand it in a better way, let's look at an example. We will take the movies table again. Suppose we want to find all movies in the movie table that have a rating count greater than 10,000. So, for that we can write the query as Select title and rating count from movies table where rating count is greater than 10,000. In this query, we use the greater than operator to filter movies with a rating count greater than 10,000. Execute this code and you can see the required data here. Comparison operators allow you to filter data by comparing column values against specific thresholds or other values. Just as we use the greater than operator likewise, you can use other operators as well according to the conditions. And that's how you use comparison operators to filter data in SQL. Now a question for you, which SQL operator would you use to check if a value is not equal to another value? Options are equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than or equal to? Write the answers in the comments section below. Next, let's explore logical operators. These operators are used to combine multiple conditions in a query. The most common logical operators are AND, it returns true, 
if all conditions are true, or it returns true if any of the conditions are true, not it reverses the result of a condition. Logical operators are often used in the WHERE clause to filter data based on multiple conditions. Let's look at an example. We will use the same movies table to understand each operator. Now suppose we want to find all movies in the movie table that have an IMDB rating greater than 7 and rating count greater than 1000. So for that right, select title, IMDB rating, rating count from movies table where IMDB rating is greater than 7 and rating count greater than 1000. When we use and operator both conditions should be true, here since we wanted movies having IMDB more than 7 and rating count greater than 1000. So we took both the columns and applied the filter to get the desired output. Let's execute this code. You can see the desired output here. Easy right? Let's test your understanding. Here is a question for you. Which SQL logical operator would you use to combine conditions where both must be true? Options are or not. And XOR. Write the answers in the comments section below. Set operators. Now, let's understand set operators. These operators are used to combine results from two or more queries. The basic set operators in SQL. Union combines the results of two queries and removes duplicate rows. Unional combines the results of two queries, including duplicate rows. Intersec returns only the rows that are common to both queries. Exerts the rows from the first query that are not present in the second query. Set operators are useful when you need to merge or compare results from different queries. Let's see an example. Suppose we want to find all movies in the movie table that are classified under either drama or comedy genres without any duplicates. We can write this query as then where, here write the column name and the condition you want to apply. For now we will write genres which is drama. Then we will write union. This selects title of movies which fall in either of the genre category but without any duplicates. After union again write where genres is comedy. So here we use the union operator to find movies classified under either a drama and comedy genres. Likewise you can use other set operators according to your need. Set operators are our reliable tool for combining and comparing result sets. Another question for you. Which SQL set operator combines the results of two queries and removes duplicate rows? A. Union B. Intersect C. Union All D. Accept Write the answers in the comments section below. Now let's discuss some other important operators such as between like and in. These operators are commonly used for specific types of filtering in SQL queries. They are very important operators as they are very often in use while writing an SQL query. Between is used to filter data within a certain range. Like is used to search for a specified pattern in a column. In is used to filter data that matches any value in a list. Let's look at examples for each operator. First, the between operator. This operator is used to have data which are between a certain range. Let's understand this with an example. Suppose we want to find all shows in the Netflix titles table that has IMDB rating between 8 and 9. So for this we will write it as select title IMDB rating from movie table. Then write where here gives the column name where you want to apply filter. Here it is IMDB rating. Then write between as we want the data between a range after that. Write 8 and 9 like this. In this query we use the between operator to filter shows with IMDB between 8 and 9. Now next is the like operator. This is used to filter out data which has specific patterns in the column. Let's look at an example. Suppose we want to find all shows with titles that contain the word love in the Netflix titles table. For this we can write the query as select title from movie where since we are filtering data from title column which contain the word love so for that we use the like operator. We write it as between single inverted comma or backslash, then in between modular sign, write the pattern which you are looking for. This syntax is used with the like operator. You just need to insert the pattern in between. Now execute it and see the desired result. In this query, we use the like operator with a pattern lines to find all shows whose titles contain the word love. Finally, the in operator. This operator is used to filter data which matches the values given in the list. Let's understand with an example. 
Suppose we want to find all movies in the movie table with IMDb ratings of 7, 8 or 9. So for this we will write the query as select title IMDb rating from movies, then write where and the column in which from you want the data, in this case it is IMDb rating column, and then write in operator after that in parenthesis. Write values if it's numbers, then write as it's shown. If it's string, then write it in inverted comma. In this case, it is numeric, so we will directly write the number like this, 7, 8, 9. In this query, we use the in operator to filter movies with IMDb rating of 7, 8 or 9. The in operator is useful when you need to filter data based on a list of values. These additional operators between like and in are incredibly useful for more advanced filtering and searching within your SQL queries. Now one last question, which SQL operator would you use to filter data within a specific range? A, like in, C, between, dot. Write the answers in the comment section below. So to summarize, we covered several types of SQL operators today, arithmetic, logical, comparison, set, and other operators like between, like, and in. These operators are essential for performing calculations, combining conditions, comparing values, manipulating data at the bit level, combining query results, and advanced filtering and searching. Practice using these operators in your own projects to become more comfortable. In the next video, we will be learning about joins in SQL. Remember, do not skip any topic and practice as much as you can. We'd love to hear your suggestions. Let us know in the comments which topic you'd like us to cover in our next video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting and informative content. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update.